Hello everyone. Today in this video, I'm going to discuss about the structure of atmosphere. So let's get started. On the basis of characteristics of temperature, broadly the atmosphere is divided into four different layers: troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere and thermosphere so the first one is troposphere it is the lowermost layer of the atmosphere where all kinds of weather changes take place the air never remains static in this layer so this layer is also called changing sphere the height of troposphere changes from equator towards the poles its height is about 18 km on the equator and 8 km on the poles. In this layer, temperature decreases with increasing height at the rate of 6.5 degrees Celsius per thousand meter. This rate of decrease of temperature is called normal lapse rate. The upper limit of the troposphere is called tropopause. The word tropopause means where the mixing stops. So above tropopause, a new layer starts that is stratosphere. Stratosphere extends up to a height of 50 km. The upper limit of stratosphere is called stratopause. In this layer, the temperature increases slowly with the increasing height because the lower portion of the stratosphere having maximum concentration of ozone, which is called ozonosphere. It acts as a protective cover for the biological communities in the biosphere because it absorbs almost all of the ultraviolet rays of solar radiation and thus protects the Earth's surface from becoming too hot. This layer is also helpful for the flying of aircraft. So the third one is mesosphere. It is the coldest among all layers of the atmosphere. In this layer, meteors are burned due to the friction. It extends up to a height of 80 km and here the temperature again decreases with increasing altitude. The upper limit of mesosphere is called mesopause, above where temperature increases with increasing height and this layer is called thermosphere. Thermosphere is located between 80 to 640 km. This layer is divided into two layers, ionosphere and exosphere. Ionosphere contains ions and thus helps in radio waves and satellites. The atmosphere is again divided on the basis of chemical composition into two broad zones, homosphere and heterosphere. Homosphere represents the lower portion of the atmosphere and extends up to a height of 90 km from sea level. It consists of various gases like oxygen, nitrogen, argon, carbon dioxide, etc. This zone is called homosphere because of the proportion of different gases that are uniform at different levels in this zone. The next one is heterosphere. It extends from 90 km to 10,000 km. Different layers of the sphere vary in their chemical and physical properties. There are four layers of gases in the sphere. Molecular nitrogen layer, atomic oxygen layer, helium layer, and atomic hydrogen layer. Okay guys, keep trying, keep moving, stick to your goals. Alright then, take care. Jai Hind.